Amir Taki is one of the key programmers behind a tool which could potentially hide the identity of people using the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Along with Cody Wilson, the creator of the 3D printed gun, he's made the Dark Wallet, software to anonymize Bitcoin transactions. Already the US government and European banking authorities are looking at regulating the use of Bitcoins and are particularly concerned about how the Dark Wallet could be used as a money laundering tool. These fears grew recently when a blog linked to Islamic State was published. It included an instruction manual for how to stay undercover online. It emphasized the dark wallet would have many benefits, including the ability to easily send millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin instantly from the United States, United Kingdom, South Africa, Ghana, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, or wherever else right to the pockets of the Mujahideen. It's simple, easy, and we ask Allah to hasten its usage for us. We first met Amir in Barcelona. Now he's living in a squat in the heart of central London. In June 2013, this was the center of the G8 protests. Um, there were sent 1,200 counter-terrorism police to evict uh, the place. And if you see the red paint was where people were fighting with paint bombs against the police and many people were arrested. Um, the G8 released a document naming Dark Wallet as a key money laundering threat. And now Dark Wallet is in the G8 building. Staying in the squat is a group of expert programmers working on other software to help anonymize your life online. They all share the belief that anything an individual does should be completely free from government interference. They built the dark wallet because they don't believe anyone should be able to see what you spend your money on online. But there's a flip side. We came to speak to them about how they feel if their technology is going to be used by extremists like the Islamic State. If there was uh, a link with dark wallet to an ISIS fighter who was involved in beheading somebody and you knew that, would you feel comfortable? Um, yeah, and in fact I shut down my Twitter account because they were shutting down ISIS accounts. Like, I don't, I don't think trying to censor, um, censor information is the way to go. I mean, have you had any contact with anybody directly from ISIS asking you for help? <laughs> nah, no way, I, would, I don't like ISIS. But is it question, you wouldn't stop them from using the dark wallet? No, you can't, you can't stop people using technology because of your personal bias. I think obviously terrorists will use it and you know the benefits certainly outweigh the risks and equally obviously terrorists go use the internet. Obviously terrorists use freedom of speech and we've accepted that that is a trade-off we must make. It's a sort of a libertarian worldview. And at the extreme edges of that, there are those who say, it doesn't really matter what people do with this technology, even if the whole world is, uh, is sort of torn up. Um, what's more important is that we are creating the technology that is going to guarantee individual liberty from governments. If it comes to pass that ISIS have started using Bitcoin or dark wallet or any other type of technology of this type, then public concern and public opinion about these technologies will change dramatically. But these programmers don't care about public opinion. For them, freedom from scrutiny is above all. In the past, opinions and discussions like this may have stayed in the squats, but today, combined with their coding skills, their beliefs are starting to ripple around the world.